In uh, this video, I'll focus on how to bring data out of ArcGIS Online. So while we can do lots of things within ArcGIS Online, it might also be useful to bring data out of ArcGIS Online. If you're working with a SV product, this is no problem. The data is already available for you in the data browser in Esri. But However, if you're using um, QGIS, for instance, we just have we have to export the data from um, ArcGIS Online. So, if we um, look at our data, we had um, two. These are the two our feature layers. This is a map we've been using. If we look at one of these, there is basically two ways that we can um, extract the data. One is the advanced way, which uses this um, uh, feature service, so we can have an online connection to it. Um, it is a bit tricky to use, so I, you know, there's videos on the internet to show how to do it. You can ask me, and I'll help you if you need it. The advantage is that you have an online connection, so you don't have, you know, so any change will reflect in it. The simple way is basically just to go in and export the data. So if we um, form our our content, where we had all our different layers, we choose our feature layer, and there we then go up and choose export data. And there are different formats we can export them to. Um, I would recommend you use a GeoJSON. Uh, you can also use a shapefile or a KML. Uh, I I will probably prefer using the GeoJSON. So um, we choose GeoJSON, <coughs> and uh, it's called Point Layers. It's our um, recircling station, and it's our test. And data will be saved down in our um, temp test 2 folder. So I'll just export this data. So once um, the data has been exported, it will automatically bring you into the detail of this data set here. So I can then go and uh, and download it to my computer. So this one will be saved as point layer due date. I'll just save it like that. Um, what you can see is that it comes in our content. So in your content folder here, we now have this layer here, which is our geodeson, which is not shared with anyone. So if I click that one, I'll come back to this where I can download this data from. So procedure is relatively simple. Just choose your layer. So let's say we use our natural elements this time. And um, go and say export. And I'll export to GeoJSON. And uh, call it uh, sustainable campus. Maybe I should call this uh, Let's give it a bit of better name than just no name point layers um, and uh, export the data again uh, once it's finished exporting we can then download it directly to our computer so if i uh, switch to QGIS and uh, start a new project and go to my home and my downloads. I have my point layer. So I want my uh, point layer geodeson, this one. And I want my natural elements, this one. So um, hopefully 
I now have my stream and my hedgerows in my natural element and my two uh, recycling stations in my point data. If I um, use the I tool to query the, the data set, I just have to uh, have the right one selected. Better. Um, you might be disappointed to note that those attached images, they are not there. So it's only those data that we entered ourselves are there. Um, bringing the attached uh, images out is a bit more awkward. It is possible, but it's not quite simple. Except, of course, if you use um, Isri's own products, then there's no problem in that. So um, that was um, just the basics of um, of uh, downloading the data, and you can see just for for the fun of it, if I put in a uh, in a background map, you can see that my points of where I place them, and I can uh, change the projection to uh, something that we like. So um, now everything is as we would like it to be, and we can work with it as if it was standard QGIS. So that was this for just downloading the data and bringing it into uh, QGIS.